Hello everybody, Mark aka the Nerdy Punk back again tonight for a new video. Hope you all are having a great evening. Um, before we get started with tonight's video, cheers everybody. It is Friday night, so I am enjoying a brew. This is Tropic Hero by Revolution Brewing, which is a great craft beer um, brewed in Chicago. And I'm from uh, the Midwest, from actually central Illinois, so really really love this brewery and every beer they put out is fantastic those of you who are from the midwest and like beer highly recommended <laughs> okay speaking of some things that i would highly recommend tonight i'm going to go through uh, my nine pickups this is technically haul number two for the criterion collection barnes and noble sale for november of 2020 um, I posted a video a few days ago unboxing the Wong Kar Wai set that I picked up for this sale. Now I'm going to go through the nine individual titles that I picked up in my first shopping experience for November 2021 for the Barnes & Noble 50% off sale for Criterion. So let's go ahead and get into the titles straight away. I haven't seen any of these titles before. Uh, these are blind buys. Largely, I do blind buys the Criterion based on movies that I've heard amazing things about. Movies from directors who have seen other films of theirs that I really love. And that's actually the first one here. The first one is Naked Lunch from David Cronenberg. I'm a massive fan of Cronenberg. I, my favorite film of his is Videodrome, which was released uh, through the Criterion Collection as well and I adore that film. I also, last week or so, I've been binge watching some Cronenberg movies. I watched Crash, which is in the Criterion Collection. Highly recommend it. I loved this film. And I watched The Brood, also from the Criterion Collection. Highly recommend both of these if you're interested in picking up some stuff from the sale. Obviously it's Cronenberg, so there's a lot of messed up images in both of these films. But if you're down for it, these are two awesome movies. Haven't seen Naked Lunch, but I'm very interested to check it out. So Crash was actually made around five years or so, I think, after this film came out. And they're both adaptations of novels. And from what I've heard, the story in this is just insane. <laughs> and so I'm really interested to check that out. Um, I've heard there's a lot about kind of drug use and addiction and stuff in that, like that in this film. So finally got the last Cronenberg that I needed to add to my collection from the Criterion releases. And so excited to dive into this one. I'm trying to watch as many Cronenberg films as possible because he's become one of my favorite filmmakers. Okay, next up. Another filmmaker that I've kind of discovered through Criterion, we have The Elephant Man from David Lynch. Uh, by the way, Naked Lunch is from 91, and it's release uh, spine number 220 in the collection. Elephant Man is from 1980, spine number 1051, relatively recent release. This is a cool digipack edition, as are all of David Lynch's films in the Criterion Collection, which there are several. I have Blue Velvet, as well as uh, Mulholland Drive, which was the first Lynch film that I ever watched. And of course, I've also seen most of Twin Peaks. I haven't finished it yet, but I've seen most of that show. So interested to dive into this. It's based on a real life event and the story of uh, John Merrick, who uh, suffered from facial disformities and body disformities and from what I hear suffered quite a bit because of it and so it's a good film that kind of shows the hatred and just terribleness of humans at times and so I've heard it's kind of a depressing watch but highly interested in checking this one out it's got Anthony Hopkins and John Hurt in it so two great actors uh, of their time so the elephant man definitely wanting to dive into that one Next up, uh, this is The Portrait of a Lady on Fire from 2019, spy number 1034. Very recent release. I wanted to watch this when it first came out, but 
I can't remember if it just never came to a theater near me or if I never really got the chance to go see it. Uh, so never really saw this, kept putting it off, but it was always one of the titles in my wish list. I finally pulled the trigger on it, this sale. So very interested in this one. Heard great things. Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Next one. This is The Comfort of Strangers, uh, spine number 1041, released in 1990 from Paul Schrader, who has a couple other films, I believe, in the Criterion Collection. Uh, Mishima is one of his films that I is on my wish list that I want to get. I haven't seen any films, to my knowledge, from this director. And really, the plot kind of intrigued me on this movie, and so I'm kind of excited to dive into this. Um, it's kind of a, an erotic thriller type movie. It's got Christopher Walken in it, uh, Helen Mirren, so excited to check this one out. Um, these next three I'm going to show you because they're all kind of related together. They're all from the same filmmaker. So I have Kronos. Pain, uh, sorry, the, the Devil's Backbone. And Pan's Labyrinth, obviously all from director Guillermo del Toro. So I have a Guillermo del Toro triple feature here on my hands. Uh, I've never seen any of these, but I was like obsessed with del Toro after he made Shape of Water, which is my favorite movie of 2017. I absolutely love that movie. Super, super happy when it won Best Picture. Um, I just loved the message that that movie uh, had uh, and how it kind of affected me. I adore that movie. And so I wanted to go back and check out more Del Toro. I've heard this is like his best work here, these three movies. And for a long time, I thought that these were like a trilogy of movies, that they were all connected. Uh, to my knowledge, I haven't seen any of them, so I could be completely wrong. But to my knowledge, these aren't like a trilogy of films. Um, if they're connected, they're like loosely connected. Uh, to my knowledge, both Pan's Labyrinth and The Devil's Backbone take place during the Spanish Civil War. So there is a little bit of a connection there. But interested to dive into this and really happy to add the three Del Toro films to my collection. Uh, I think the world of him as a filmmaker and as a person, I love watching his videos. Um, that he's made through the Criterion Collection and through other YouTube channels. Uh, I just think he's a fantastic mind when it comes to horror and cinema, and I love listening to him in, in all kinds of situations. So, excited to dive into what I believe is considered his best work. Um, real quick, spine numbers. Kronos is spine number 551. It was released in 1993. Devil's Backbone is from 2001, spine number 666, very appropriate number there. Uh, Pan's Labyrinth is from 2006, and it is spine number 838. So there's the three Del Toro films. <clears throat> Two more titles to show you here. A quick beer break here. All right, next up. This is one of the earliest releases in the Criterion Collection. Back when they started putting out DVDs, this is one of the first ones they put out. This is The Lady Vanishes from Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, originally released in 1938, spine number three. So this is officially the lowest spine number that I now have. And uh, I've seen a little bit of Hitchcock. I have the 4K set, came out last year. Um, I've seen Psycho, obviously. It was the first horror movie that I ever watched back in 2016, at least knowingly. And it, I kind of credit it for beginning my obsession with horror, which is now my favorite genre. This is a very early Hitchcock film, obviously. Psycho is 1960, this being 22 years before Psycho. So very interested to see where this goes and kind of what his other films are like. Um, this is 96 minutes, obviously in black and white. Uh, it's kind of like, from my from my interpretation of the synopsis, it's kind of like a murder mystery on a train. So really interested to see 
this and dive into some early Hitchcock. I really don't have a lot of black and white movies in my collection, especially from Criterion. I have a handful, so excited to add some more to the collection. <clears throat> and then last title that I picked up, speaking of black and white films, uh, this is an essential that I didn't have and that I have never seen that I absolutely have to see as a horror fan, and that is Night of the Living Dead. Very cool digipack release on this. This is from 1968, uh, spine number 909, I think? <laughs> Sorry, the the kind of the bunching of the shrink wrap is, is in the way there, but I believe this is 909, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, George A. Romero, classic film, started the zombie genre, and so I absolutely have to watch this, <laughs> and the Criterion is the definitive of edition of this film. So, excited to dive into this. I don't know how it's <laughs> it's been so long that I haven't watched it. I was never a huge fan of the zombie genre, but I'm really interested to see where it began, kind of, with Night of the Living Dead and how it was popularized. And this artwork is just gorgeous. I apologize for the glare, but I adore the artwork on this release. So... Really awesome release from Criterion. Happy to have it. So those are the nine titles that I picked up from the Barnes & Noble sale. My first haul along with the Wong Kar Wai set. I'm excited to do one more trip to Barnes & Noble this month. I'm going to kind of try to limit myself a little bit to save a little bit of money. Not super, super rich. So uh, these sales are definitely taking a lot out of my wallet. But uh, at the end of the day, like, now is the time to stock up. And I'm going to enjoy these films so much more than I would enjoy the, I don't know, $160 or so that it cost me to get these films. So at the end of the day, it's, it's a win-win for me. Um, so I do plan on doing... One more video regarding the Criterion Collection for the month of November in 2021. I plan on doing a in-person, um, in-store vlog video, kind of like I did with July, in terms of me going out to at least one Barnes & Noble location. Not necessarily planning on going to Indianapolis this time because I'm in the middle of the school year, I have to work every day. I'm probably planning on trying to go to uh, Evansville, Indiana, also has a Barnes & Noble. Probably planning on going over there, maybe with my family over the Thanksgiving holidays, and maybe see about hitting up Barnes & Noble then. So look for another video around then. I do kind of want to pick up uh, at least one of the 4K releases. This is, month is the first 4K releases from Criterion, so I am kind of interested in those. Um, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below if you guys are picking anything up from these sales and uh, what you're excited to pick up. If you've seen any of these films, let me know your thoughts on them. And uh, happy hunting, everybody. <laughs> See ya.